the lots open today at 3.30, so they'll have, I think the gates open at 6.30, so, you know, roughly three hours for them to, to be out here and, and drink, so. Right. Once they, they try to make their way through the gate, if they've had too much to drink, security will bring them into the compound for an evaluation. And that's when, that's when it typically gets busy. A young, intoxicated female is absolutely the worst person to deal with. And just saying that from experience, it's, they're, they're out of control. They're just, uh, I mean, they'll be, we'll have them on the, on the seats in there. They, you know, they're, they're loud. They, uh, you know, they're yelling all kinds of stuff at you. Um, urinating themselves, throwing up all over the place. Yeah, it's it's tough to deal. When, when they've had too much to drink and they start throwing up, it, it's just uh, it's crazy. Nowadays, it's, it's hard to tell sometimes. Uh, but for the most part, you know, like I said, that whole suspicious activity they do in the lots and. You know, they'll put the cup down on the ground, that's a sure sign for these guys. Um, they'll walk the other way when we come up close to them. The so, handcuffs? Anyone, anyone that comes in here that's, you know, behaved or, or uh, does what they're told, basically gets a yellow set put on. Uh, anyone who's out of line, combative, they get the orange cuffs put on them. So that when they're transported back to the police station, the booking officer back there will know that he has to be uh, you know, more cautious with this guy. Because because they're intoxicated sometimes that kind of gives them a little bit of you know attitude you know so to speak whether whether they want to do what they're told you know sometimes they misbehave sometimes they come in here they, they're quiet they'll do whatever you tell them to do um, it's it's a 50 50 you never know what you're going to get you, you really don't it's uh it's tough to judge a person they could come in here calm and then after the booking process they flip out you know it's, but for the most part they're they're behaved in here until they get to the station and then they're released.